Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 17 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm and this content or this video in general. Uh, I just got back from a wedding. Uh, you know, congrats. Uh, I think he may be watching this, maybe not, so uh, to a buddy. So, you know, uh, leave a congrats in the comments and I'll send it to him afterwards. Uh, I'm sure they'll get a kick out of it. Uh, but yeah, it was a beautiful wedding, a lot of good, fun people. And yeah, I mean, what else is there to say, you know? Uh, beginning of a fun journey and all that stuff. Okay, so let's get, let's take a look at today's farm. Uh, 629, K inverse pairs away. What does that mean? Okay, inverse pairs in IJ where I is less than J, nums. What does that mean? Okay, so that means that, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe that's right. Uh, okay, there's a mod, so let me just do the mod song. Mod, 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 It's not a good song, I know, but at least it's enough to me to do this. All right, let's see. Given N and K, we turn the number of different arrays consists of numbers from 1 to N, such Seems like this is, uh, this week has been combinatorics, or at least last couple. Let me know if that's, hmm, it's been a while. Uh, okay. K inverse pairs. Hmm. And you have to use 1 to N exactly. Huh. Mm. Alright, let's see, right? So, if K is 0, then you have 1, right? Mm, okay. If K is equal... So, I'm, there are two things that I, I can do, and I'm trying to think about which one makes more sense. Um, and one of them is just about counting the number of swaps, right? Um, and counting number of, or like in a way, in one way or the other, counting number of swaps will allow me to f try to figure out how, how many inverse pairs, right? Because you can use up k swaps at once. The idea here is that, okay, let's just say you have, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or something like that. And then the idea is that, okay, and let's say k is equal to 5, right? That means that for the first number, you can use no swaps, so that's a 1. And then the second number, you can use, say, 2 of the swaps. Uh, if you use 2 of the swaps, what does that mean, right? Um, of 2 inverse, right? That means that you have a 4, right? Um, so that's a 2 inverse thing. If you have just this, basically you swap 4 up twice. So then now k is equal to 3. Um, and then you do a recur basically kind of like that on the recursion. Um, you can always generate a case where, you know, uh, and this is actually, the math is kind of interesting, right? Because then now, you can, instead of doing like some weird thing with the last number, you can actually just have n, n left, uh, the number of numbers that are left, and then k left, and then kind of combine it that way in a funky way. Um, so I think this is also, by the way, this visualization, I hope it helps, because I think this is one of those problems where when someone writes out the formula, you're like, I don't get it because the formula is for, or write out the, the formula in terms of a program, it would be like five lines of code and you're like, okay, this is a beautiful five lines of code. I don't understand how that works. But now I think with this foundation, we can build out how that works. And for each one, we can, um, we can do every possibility, right? Meaning that for here, for k is equal to 5, well, let's, we can recurse 1 with 1, 3, dot, dot, dot. k is equal to 4. You could do, uh, for k is equal to 3, you, you is 1, 4, dot, dot, dot. And also, there is some like uh, 1, 5, dot, dot, dot. k is equal to 2, and then you do a recursion on, say, the third digit, right? Or something like that. And I would say one thing, and maybe I'm off by 1, but nonetheless, like the idea is there. And one thing that I would say is that when these things are set to the left, one thing that you may be tempted to do is just record the last number because that happens a lot in different combinatorics. But for this one, it doesn't matter in the sense that you can almost conceptualize it as in re-indexing yourself, right? Meaning that after you use the one, you can almost treat... So after you use the one, what happens? You have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dot, 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 right? Um, but... You can also re-index that, the new array, by just subtracting everything from 1. So just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dot, dot, dot. And here, the same way, right? If you, um, let's say you, I'm looking at the 1, 5, dot, dot, dot. So instead of, say, now you have numbers 2, 3, uh, 6, 
oh sorry, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can actually re-index everything to just you know now now we squish everything again. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So there, there's your recursion and there's your your you know conceptualization. There's your subproblems. There's your repeated subproblems. Uh, to be more specific, and that's how we we attack this problem. So then now we can go, um, you know, maybe I call it calc or count or something like this of um, N and K. I, I I like capital things. Maybe it's just my habit. And then here, um, of course, also one thing I would say, and this is dynamic programming or memorization. I'm doing it top down. One thing I would say is I always talk about. Mm, actually, it's just too slow. Maybe this is too slow, actually, now that I think about it. One thing that I would say is that now I, I analyze how, how fast it takes, right? Well, for each one, their n is equal to 0 to n, obviously. k is also to, from 0 to n, and these are both 1,000, right? Oops. Um, but then now, you... If, if we do a for loop, like, you know, let's just say we write something like, oh, if k is equal to 0, we return 1. If n is, uh, I'm trying to think whether, uh, no, I guess that's it, right? Um, if n is less than 0, we return 0. I don't know if that comes up. Um, and then you would maybe write something like, oh, for i in range of uh, k, yeah, k. Um, maybe you write something like total is equal to zero, total add count of n minus i, and then k minus, uh, um, k also minus i, is that right? No, 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 sorry, n minus 1, k minus i, and then we turn total, and of course you'll do total to the mod, and you'll do some memorization here, um, but of course if you look at this, this is going to be a thousand square, right? Or sorry, a thousand cube, because the, the n square states, uh, or n square possible inputs, each input taking O of 1000 uh, or O of K, but 1000, so that's gonna be a thousand cube, and that's gonna be too slow. And then the question is mm, can you write this in a different way? Uh, I think there is, um, uh, this is kind of hard to think, right? So, this is so what, what is this function? This function is we turn the count, you know, considering mod, uh, the number of k inverse pairs away with exactly uh, n numbers and k uh, inverses, right? That we can use something like that, right? Uh, maybe that's just uh, maybe I said k inverses twice. Nonetheless, um. So that's basically this one, and it'll be too slow. It's n cubed, even with memorization and all that stuff. So then the idea here is now converting the problem. Um, converting the problem to... Uh, converting the problem to... Um, changing the, the, the way we phrase this, right? Instead of returning the count of the number of k inverse pairs away, we can return the count of... Uh, did I write exactly? Yeah. Uh, of the number of k inverse pairs away with um, maybe n or less num or n or fewer numbers. Maybe that's right. Because then now we can write some. We can instead of having this function, I believe you can. And this is something maybe that you can add, do a visualization as well. Uh, and the idea behind the visualization, actually, maybe that's a better way of doing it. Give me a second. Um, is that you have this matrix, right? Okay, so, you know, you have this matrix and... Actually, let me just... Uh, I'm going to skip talking about cash for now. Um, Um, and then maybe I'm, I'm just doing this for actual uh, uh, one. Actually, what am I doing? Let me just actually do something. Uh, I just wanted to visualize more precisely. So give me a second. Uh, so 10 for J and 10. 
open uh, account of IJ. Yeah. Uh, and maybe that's right. So let me give it a spin. Okay. Did I miss something? Hmm. Huh. Did I miss something? Why is it some big number? Maybe I just have to, maybe this formula is just wrong in general, but give me a second. Let me debug this. Uh, I've been kind of yucky lately. Sorry about that. Uh, hmm. Why would we return this for 1-1? One, one? Round J. Zero. I think if this is zero, this is also zero, but because you ran out of numbers and you still have K left. Um, but still, why do I, why did I get this? Hmm. Did I mess up something? Also, this should be. Oh, 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 oh I'm dumb. It's not that it was very that. It's just that my thingy, so it wasn't aligning. Okay. Also, this is still wrong clearly, but at least that's a little bit better. Because uh, for k is equal to 0, and then k is equal to 1, it is no good. Huh. Why is that no good for k is equal to... Uh, let's say 1, 1, right? 1, 1 should go to... Oh, whoops. Uh, duh. Uh, I'm very sloppy. Uh, okay. Yeah, so anyway, my point is that... Okay, now let's say you have this... Uh, so okay, we did fix it. Oh, wow. I think they made some changes so the end, but like it makes it harder for me to copy and paste. But okay, so like now you have this thing, right? Um, the idea here is kind of noticing, okay, so what is this number, right? This number, if you look at this array, is just the sum of these three numbers, right? And this number is the sum of these three numbers. Um, this number is the sum of these four numbers. And this number is the sum of these five numbers, right? So this is, uh, okay. But then the way that you can think about it is by, uh, I know that I'm not going to, I'm going to, uh, this is hard to understand because I think you have to kind of think about it a little bit, right? Is that with this is the sum of all these numbers, um, you can use this idea of prefix sum. And the idea behind this prefix sum is noting that, okay, this number uh, let's just actually let's go here so that I don't keep on because I'm not on my mouse so like I'm not very dexterous right now but but here let's just look at this row for a second right um well the the first number is one because it's the first number but here the six what does this mean right the six is the f f sum of these two numbers but you also know that what is the sum of everything before the five well that's the previous number right so that's a one uh, another way to say it, and this is 1, 21, 56, dot, dot, dot. I'll, I'll do a better example because it'll come up later. But let's say the 252, right? How do you get it? Well, one way to get it is just summing all these numbers, right? Well, do you know what's the sum of of these number? Well, this number is just the sum of here, right? This number is already the sum of these number. So to add, to get to here, you just need this number, right? So then the idea is instead of having this formula of uh, let's say f of n k is equal to sum of uh, f of n minus 1 k minus i right I mean we literally wrote the code that way uh, something like that I mean 2k whatever you know some notation like that I'm not using latex or anything so it's a little bit awkward if you want to do latex maybe it's some, I forget how to go I think it's actually sigma, right? Like sigma, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is some, I don't remember anymore. But like something like, you know, uh, from I, yeah, whatever. You get my idea anyway, right? Um, and then instead of this, you write something like nk, because of what we notice with this prefix sum, you can write it as f of n, k minus one, which is the number to its left, and then just this particular number, right? Plus, 
yeah, f of n minus 1 k, k, right? So that's basically the idea. And from this, you know, like we can rewrite this now, right? We can rewrite this as, uh, okay, let me also double check that this is right for a second. Return count of n k, da, 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 da. Um, this should be right, but you know, just want to verify because if that's just wrong, oh, I, I, I changed it in the input. So obviously, if this is wrong, then we proved the wrong formula, so that's sad. Uh, hmm, we are wrong, and I am sad. Maybe I just did an off by one, but this just seems off by one. -y. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, I, cause yeah, yeah. Uh, I did an off by one because. Um, because basically the idea is that with oh, whoops, this is a subtract. Um, because you're supposed to do the relationship between the numbers and not the number n away left, right? Because you you always start with one number and that number or the oh, sorry, the last number is fixed. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. The last number is always going to be fixed because it's just the number you have left. So you only have n minus one degrees of freedom. That's why this works. And you can even try maybe a slightly bigger number, but not the biggest number, um, right? Uh, okay, that's wrong. Hmm. Why is that so wrong? Huh. Well, in that case, maybe I'm just wrong. Tell me why. Do, 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 do. This is what, oh, for 3 and 0 and 1 is useless to, for testing. But let's just even do something like 5, 5. Right? Maybe I got this wrong. Maybe, um, hmm. Yeah, okay. 5, 5 is 56. Maybe I spoke too soon. But in theory, if that was the formula, then we could have reduced it that way. But let's see. Uh, hmm. I mean, maybe it's wrong, so. Okay, so then 5, 1 is equal to 4, okay. 5, 2 is 10. Huh, maybe I'm just really wrong today. Sorry about that. Mm. Do, 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 do. Maybe I was thinking of someone else, but. Uh, hmm, so expected is 9, but I have 10. Five is this one, right? Hmm. Why is that? Let me try to think. So for five, uh, let me just use a even smaller number. Just say three one, three one, yeah, three one, three two, three three, three four. Mm, okay. Two 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 one zero. Hmm, did I get this wrong? Maybe my recurrence is a little off. Or my base case, sorry. If k is 0, 0, return 1. Yeah, otherwise we don't have enough n's for the case. So that's no good. But is 3, 4 not possible? Oh yeah, it, because in the worst case, it will be 3, 2, 1, right? Um, oh, I see. Um, this has to be less than n. Because obviously, uh, yeah, that's just my uh, minor slip up. Hopefully, it's minor. Um, because basically, the idea here is you cannot move, like, you cannot subtract k if k is bigger. Because, for example, let's say you know you have, uh, let's say you have 10 numbers, but you already use most of these, um, you have k is equal to a thousand. Well, and if your n is equal to say 20, well, you cannot move a number. A thousand space up, right? Obviously, so that's basically the idea. Um, whoops, that's a very silly mistake. Maybe I'm wrong on everything else then. But in any case, uh, I think you have to min. Uh, I think n either n plus one, which is n inclusive, or maybe not. Uh, we can play around with. It. Okay, so that that should fix it. Uh, yeah, and then now, uh, do, 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 do. is this still right? I think this formula is still rough. It's, this recurrence is still true, right? In a sense that um, the way that we described it, like, I mean, okay, the numbers here are, are all wrong because I forgot a, a condition, but but it's still true that this cell is the sum of all the previous cells up to n, which for here, by by definition, um, it's going to be at least, like, k, will be, k could be bigger than n, but at nk, 
um, n is always only looking at the one field of world, and k is so. So yeah, so you look at the world above, and the same idea is the same, and this is going to be the same. So I, I made a made a boo boo, but the idea is still right. And here then now we can erase all this, and then write a uh, count of n minus one k plus count of n k minus one, right? Oh, and mod of course. Yeah. Huh. Did I mess that up? Man, this is embarrassing. Oh, I have to check some. I have to add some min things here to uh, accommodate what we the thing that we did. Um. Hmm. How do I do that then? Basically, okay, Let, let's look at the formula again before we wrote it this way. Um, basically, okay. So we're minning it by n. So we're only subtracting it. Mm, okay. So now, okay, I mean, I see what is going on. So here, let's say you have a later enough one and say, hmm. Say k is way bigger than n, right? Then what happens? Well, it's still going to be constrained by here. So as a result, what we want is something kind of like what we just had, but there's a subtraction. You can think about it as prefix sum in that way. And the idea is going to be... Yeah, wow, this is a hard one. Unless I'm missing something really obvious, which is... Very possible. Uh, yeah, huh. Let me actually, uh, hmm. hmm. I think you can do it with prefix sum, but it's a little bit more nuanced now. Let me actually run it by again really quickly. So, yeah. I can print it real quick. And now you have this thing. Right. I mean, I think the idea is going to be the same. But there is some uh, special casing I would have to do. Mm, okay. So this 3 is still the subset of all this. Oh, the sum of this. This is the same of this. This is the sum of all this. But now this 5, what does that mean? So 5... It's because it is n is equal to 3, we'll only look at the last 3 at most. And here is the last 3 at most. Here is the last 3 at most. Technically, I guess adding this, but, um, but this is going to be minus 3. And then here, uh, let's see, this is 4. So this is going to be the last 4 numbers. This is going to be the last 4. Is that right? Uh, no, this is last 5. Um, but then here... Okay, maybe I'm just making things up now. No, 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 this is right, right? So this is last five numbers on n is equal to five or something like this, right? Uh, and, this, and then here, this 20 is just going to be here, and that's right, right? Okay, so yeah, so so on, uh, I may be mucking up on the rows, but, uh, huh, wait, this is only the, well, okay. This, I guess, is technically the last four. That's why I confused myself, and he, um, but the idea here then, right, then, is that this is 4, and it's equal to 4 maybe, and it's equal to 5 maybe. So technically this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But the idea here then is the prefix sum, right? Meaning that, okay, I mean, I, might, I have to really make sure I get it right. Uh, but for example, what I mean by that, oh, uh, and this is, uh, I, I mislabeled anyway, oops. What I meant by that, is that let's say we have here right and now we want to look at the last five numbers so it's th these five right so that um which is just uh, like this number plus this number as we said minus we have five here minus this number for the prefix right so it is going to be something like uh, i'm going to get it wrong i'm not going to lie this is i, have, I haven't done this before so 
so please forgive me. <laughs> but then is this minus uh, count of mm, definitely n minus one? Oh no 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 no! no. It'll be n, and then okay. So let's say I'm actually proving it in my head right now. So this is okay. So this let's say this twenty two cell right. This 22 cell is going to be f of 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 5 is equal to f of 4, 4. Oh, sorry, 3, 5. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Plus f of... For four minus f of mm, this one, which is zero and one, right? Uh, so one, one, five, right? Something like that, and this one is just n minus. K plus or uh, K minus one, something like that. So, something like that. I, I'm definitely like very risky. Like n minus K plus one. Uh, if K is less than zero, return zero. Something like that. I'm way. I I I'm way. Uh, it's way. There, there, there are a lot of possible errors here. Um. Okay. Mm, why is that recursion or was it recursion on? Uh, I'm probably have an infinite loop. Maybe this messes up somewhere. Where? Uh, uh, uh. Just point it out. Uh. But I think that's the idea, even if it's not quite right. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna be. Eh, where am I printing? Oh, this thing. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's one, 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 hmm. So what does the first row mean? This is the one row. Uh, okay, well, one, one is going to be one. Hmm. Three, three is not one, so I can't even generalize that way. But though n, n is, hmm, okay. But, hmm, I feel like I have to do something here to, oh, oh. Also, I did this silly thing. Okay, hang on. Though this should still be 1, 1. So this sh still should be infinite loop. I just forgot to take it out. Um, okay. Uh, before I forget. And then here, now. It's just right though. It's to the left. And then if K is... Well, one one. We just won the previous. In theory, we would just want these two, and then we subtract from nothing. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, uh, let me just special case it to see if that will resolve it. Um. Not confident that we'll resolve it, but no percent now. You have two one goes to two two. This form is definitely a little bit off, but the idea is what I would try to do with it. Um, hmm, because here is uh, here is four five. Wait, one two three four one two three four five. So you get this number plus this number minus this number. Right, yeah, and th that's so for n is equal to four, you have n plus one, uh, yeah, and then you want to get five numbers, so you subtract it from on the k column will be k, mm, 
No, is that right? No, 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 no. So k minus n plus 1. Maybe I got them backwards, that's why. Huh. Because we want exactly n of them or something. Uh, maybe I did confuse it. Hmm. No, it still doesn't change it for 1, 1, though. Huh. Hmm. I would say another way that you can write it is obviously bottoms up. Maybe that's an easier way to to do because then there, then now you can do a sliding window, right? Let's do it that way just because I wanted to. Uh, I'm wow, messing up. It's something like this though, but you can also do it with sliding window, I suppose. Um, so k is, for example, for k is equal to five, we want to subtract. Oh, this is just wrong. This is. Four. Uh, wait. I think I'm confusing the. Uh, okay, n is equal to five. Yeah, no n, and then four one, right? Something like that. Yeah, and then here. So one one. Da da. Uh, oh, I think maybe minus this. Okay, at least it's not re giving me an infinite loop, but this is still wrong. Uh, hmm. That is way hard, isn't it? Oh, what am I missing in a weird way? I'm trying to do it tops down. I could do it bottoms up. I probably should have done it that way, but I wanted to be clever. Uh, and this is what happens. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see, right? This is... The sum of this time plus this would be too big. So because this is one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Ten, twenty, yep. Wait, what? Did I miss this up? Oh no, this is this twenty, that's why. And then you want to subtract it from the so yeah, this is four one. And how do I do the one one case? Why is the one one case wrong? Hmm. One one case is just a number of one total ones, so then you subtract. But why is this so wrong? Tell me why. Two 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 zero. Okay, so I'm giving a zero for three three, um, and here three three should be uh, probably not six. But am I putting the wrong thing? Did I put the wrong thing? Uh, yeah, wait, what? Why is 3, 3 not 6 in the expected answer? Oh, am I, oh, because it's 3 is minus 1, so it's actually this one. Okay. And here, it should be 1, but I'm outputting 0 because I'm, I'm looking at the last 3 numbers. Right? Um, so this is just the sum of this plus this minus this, right? So what is 3, 3? Now let's take a look. Mm. So 3, 3 is 2, 3. 3, 3, uh, uh, is that 3, 3? No, no, we want 2, 3. But 2, 3 is equal to 1, 3 plus one or uh, two two just two minus what is it two three so three minus two minus one minus zero should be right right so then you do these three and then now it is one do i have a typo hmm, let's see That is weird, am I? So we should try to look at two three two three. Um, okay, this is just weird. How do I even get that number? Two three is you go to this thing, which is what one three. One three is just zero. Why is that like so weird? One three is this. 
a minus one maybe that's why it's weird because there's a minus one one three one three one three one three one three sounds impossible so one three should be zero for sure but it's instead returning one how do i do this thing where um okay my one three this is one this is three minus one so this is one one returning for some reason so then that's why it's giving me a negative Whew, wow i am so bad at today okay so this is two three this is one three should be a zero but it's giving me a one why is it giving me a one well it should be here plus here right minus minus here really but maybe it's skipping ahead that's why hmm I think I need another if statement but this is weird um, and I can't really do a min thing bec because uh, because of the mod right so you, you cannot just check for negative numbers that way but even then that just seems hacky so uh, yeah I am a uh, this is no bueno um, okay let's just do a bottoms up then uh, but the same idea I just kind of uh, just kind of disappointed myself that I'm mixing this up because basically this is how you would solve it but I'm missing some weird off uh, edge case that I'm just struggling today with uh, uh, hmm. that was so weird Okay, well, mm. yeah, I'm definitely missing some weird case, but the idea is there. Well, what am I missing? Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Uh, give me a second. Let me think about it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm mostly right on the recurrence, but I'm a little bit awkward on this actual thing. Um, because I think this. I think there's a condition on this that I'm not matching quite well. Um, so it's doing... Because uh, basically I'm subtracting from here or something like that. And that is causing an issue because... Because uh, on one three, we add here and here. And we probably subtracted from here. Which is... I see, I see. Because I'm wrong about the prefix, that's why. Um, what I mean by that is that, uh, I see, is that this number is no longer than all the numbers here. Okay, I see. This number is just a number of, or uh, let's do a better example. I messed up here, sorry friends. Um, for example, this number is here, right? Someone like that, uh, yeah. Where this number is not actually this anymore. This number is just this number, right? So actually, the difference between here is that. So for example, uh, f of I see. I I think I got it. Give me a second to write it out. Wow, this is very easy to mess up. But let's say you have four five is is gonna be or four four say right. That's the tw that's the first twenty. The first 20 is going to be these numbers, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, let's do the 22. So that's the 4, 5. is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3, I think, right? That's 6, 12, yeah. Um, and then 4, four 6 is equal to 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1. 
Um, so in that case, we because I, I, I think I carried on the other prefix thing, but the, in this case, this is this number is just this number. Uh, yeah, plus this number minus the difference, right? Which is this number and not the prefix sum number. So this is actually this minus one, I want to say. And now I think maybe we're right. Okay. Let's also just try a big number. Uh, yikes. This is way easier to mess up. Because I like, like that's what I always say about these problems is you have to define things way precisely, right? If you don't define things way precisely, it's way easy to mess up. Like, um, and and in my case, you know, I went from the prefix sum to the new thing, but I and I was talking about sliding windows. I was almost there, but I think I was just missing. Like, I I, I got a little bit too hung up on the the prefix sum, so that's why. Hopefully this visualization is good. We talked a lot and this is a long video, so uh, my bad. But, but now we are able to do it. Uh, this is it. Um, the way that I would also write this is that, okay. So now the complexity is just n is equal to, oh, actually we already had this, for states. And each one now takes O of 1, so total, total time is going to be O of n times k. And total space is also n times k well we're here so far we might as well as write out the the dynamic programming so let's get you know and this is how i always write it out as you know um basically yeah uh write with k first or the other one first um yeah and then and then as usual we just write something like uh has cash of n k return cash I may have I'm, I'm off by one but that's fine um, I mean I'll fix it is what I mean it's not fine but uh, yeah so I am running up steam a little bit this is near the end but you get my uh, if you do struggle with some of the dynamic programming you know um, uh, do easier problems, I think, is the, the, the first thing you should do. And then after that, but yeah, I hope that, that the visualization makes sense. Um, and you could you saw me even debugging and try to figure things out as well. Uh, so that is hopefully, you know, very good. This is how a normal person may be solving. Or, you know, a smarter person may have solved it a little bit better, uh, a little bit faster. But this is how a normal person may have solved it. And also, the other thing that I did talk about with respect to the sliding window... Uh, with bottoms up that would have worked um just to be clear because that is precisely what we're doing but having that sliding window i i didn't make the connect i was still stuck on a prefix some explanation in my head so that by the time i did the sliding window uh like i just didn't make the connection until now until you know you saw how this worked and then the sliding window is the difference in the sliding windows right or the windows so that's basically how this kind of uh came about um but yeah looks good then I did it last year, uh, and last year I did it bottoms up, but I did it with prefix sum, and it's probably the same idea, same logic, it's just that I did it bottoms up, and with this visualization, hopefully this is a good idea, and you kind of saw how I did it from n cubed, or n or a thousand cubed, from n times k times k, all the way to n times k. This is a very hard problem, uh, so I don't know what to tell you, but uh, but yeah. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Took a mental health. I have some more videos to record for the virtual contest. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.